Hi dear friends, Chris here. So today I have an unboxing for you. Um, it is from the company victoriasmoon.com. They asked me to review one of their products. So um, I think I, again, I, I've already unboxed it, so I'm doing this afterwards. But basically what they did was they sent me a link to look through a certain amount of their paintings and picked one that I liked so I did that and that's the one you'll see uh, uh, coming up um, it came uh, the shipping was about a month so I uh, they contacted me in about the beginning of February and I just got it today which is March 1st so it was about a month which is fine you know standard um, yeah, so they also gave me a 10% discount code, which I will include in the bottom in the link, uh, in the description, as well as a link to their store and a link to the actual um, dime painting that I received to review for them. All right, and I also wanted to tell you they basically are a dime painting company. I had I looked on their site. Uh, there was no other products really except dime painting related and they have about eight uh, from what I can tell about 8,000 um, that's what it says on the top of their page and also if you are to look through their their site itself um, you there are tons of categories which you can look to find something a uh, certain area you're interested in like animals or hearts or angels things like that um, so you're not just looking through page after page. So they do have it broken up. And of course you can also use the search. All right. So thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it greatly. Uh, I appreciate all your support. And thank you so much to Victoria's Moon. Uh, I really enjoyed the canvas. I can't wait to start doing it actually. Um, I have to. I don't know when I'll get to it. I hopefully very soon. Because um, I'm really interested in seeing a preview of what you'll see in a minute. It's quite a dark painting. So I'm really interested in how that works up. So uh, thank you so much for letting me uh, review your product. It's greatly appreciated and I hope I did you justice. And I hope you all viewers and uh, like it as well. All right. Thank you so much. And now on to the unboxing. Bye guys. Okay, I'm here. So let's open the package. So it came like this in a box in this plastic. Oops. Okay. And here we have the box. So, um, let me tell you about the, when I went to the website and how I chose this. So, um, in the, uh, when I was contacted by Victoria's Moon to choose a canvas, they sent a link of, which I guess they have a specific um, I think it was about three pages where of canvases to choose from. So you couldn't choose, I couldn't choose anything from the site. Um, although I did find something I really wanted, um, but, uh, this is cute too. So, um, they, they had the link and I looked through it and I found something I liked. And this is a, yes, it does say, it's a 55 by 40. Um, I probably might have gone up one size. However, I think I misunderstood. They, I think they were asked, uh, if I'm not mistaken, again, I could be mistaken. I didn't look at the email uh, before I did this. Uh, but there was, uh, they wanted to, um, uh, what do you call it? Keep it under a certain size. So I think I might have misunderstood it. And so I probably could have gone up another size, but I'm not too sure. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I think the size is perfectly fine, um, especially for the design it is. Um, as you can see, it's on a double-sided 
glue it's adhesive um, there's 25 colors it's a very dark color they're all basically uh, blacks and grays and probably whites in it um, you do get an inventory sheet although I doesn't really bother me either way I don't use these but th they do have a, the list which is just the same as that's on here so um, and I have my bag of diamonds and they did send this which is very nice now they said this they sent this as a gift um, so you won't get this if you order from them unless you buy um, it it's a, it's one of those nice um, pretty pens and so you see all the it's pink um, little like crystal things in there and so you can put the uh, wax in there to pick it up with that or you can also this is a wax um, tip and you can use that as well this of course this piece comes off this white piece um, it's just in there to keep the pen stable f um, for shipping and stuff so that was very nice of them to send this as a gift thank you so much okay and so like I said this is a 55 by 40 it's a round um, since I have to pull the sheet back, I just want to, let me just go through these diamonds first. And let me get this, um, just so this, uh, straightens out just a little bit. I'll use this, my box over here. Okay. So in the basic kit you get is a, it's a white tray with a pair of probably murder tweezers in there. <laughs> you get a, a regular pen with a hand grip, a wax. Uh, it looks like you get a few labels probably down there. I can't see, but that's, or it could be a, uh, I think it might be, oh, let's open it. I think I might've seen somebody do it and it might be like a, uh, a sticky thing in case a part of your canvas for whatever reason might have an issue with the glue but let's take a look real quick Oops. Uh -oh. things are falling <laughs> Oop. so yes they are the murder tweezers <laughs> so we have that the wax yes i think this is a some sort of um some uh, a sticky thing in case again you have a part of your canvas that is for whatever reason um, has a stickiness issue and here's the pen and you have what is probably it's a 10 placer and it's a good thin one too so that's nice so like i said there's 25 colors so let's go through them real quick one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-five. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 24, 25. Okay, so they're all here. And as you can see, lots of a black, dark blues, lots of grays, lots of um, gr some greenish colors so it's a very dark painting it's really nice um, I thought it was really cute and it's something for the fall okay getting those back in there might take a little bit so let me just put them aside for right now first let's look at the canvas oops That was taking up the glue on that end. So 
So you always have to be careful when using... Yes, it was. See, I could see it. Now it's down. Okay. So always be remember when you're doing double-sided adhesive. It's very temperamental. The glue, when you work on it, is fine. It's perfectly fine. There's no problems with it. It's just when you pull up the sheet... I think this might be the trick instead. See, instead of we pull up this way, I think, which caused a little bit of a bubble there, I think, which is not a problem. I think it'd probably be best to do it flat like this maybe. So you're not really pulling the glue up. You're just pulling the page back. That's probably the best way to do it when you have this double-sided adhesive. Okay, I just have about an inch left and that's basically all the design anyways. It's just the sky up there. So I'm sure as you can see, hopefully. And again, the, 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 the canvas looks pretty good. There are a couple of, uh, whatever you call them, puckers, river, bubble, whatever. But it's nothing really important, like big deal. I think again, that was from me pulling the page up. So as you can see, it's a black cat outside in the starry night. Okay. Um, the circles on now, it's um, the symbols are in a circle, but I'm sure the way they look, if you you could call it, it is a guide circle. However, I'm guessing that these look like they're a little bit smaller than what the rounds are. I won't know for sure until I'm doing it, but I, th I do think just from general, you know, diamond painting for about two years, you know, you kind of notice the sizing and they look like the, these symbols are a little bit smaller than what it would be as if they didn't have the guide circle. So I think they, hopefully that's what it is because I'm not a fan of guide circles either, like a lot of people. But, um, and I say that also because when you look at the symbols, I'm not going to be able, I'll show you, but I don't know if you'll be able to see too well because I don't want to mess with the, mess up the glue. You, so the symbols are spaced apart and there's quite a bit of background showing. So I'm guessing because the symbols are smaller or they, they printed the symbols smaller than the diamonds would be so you don't see so you won't see the symbol in there. Oops, there's got to see, I was worried about that. Ooh, I got it on my table. Man. Okay, hold please. Okay, I'm back. Luckily, it didn't seem to ruin my painting. Although I do see a little bit of stuff here. I don't know. That must have picked up off the table. I don't even know what that is. Mm. That was completely my fault. It had nothing to do with the quality of the canvas or the company or anything. I knew that what could have happened and I did it anyways. Um, but it's still, it's fine. It's, I'm going to put this down now because I just want to flatten out the back because it kind of got bunched here a little. Um, the glue is still fine, but I just want to flatten it to make sure it stays okay. But so here's the canvas. Again, it's, it's really, you know, it's so dark and it, it, I, I kind of actually like that, you know, 
what, again, when you're up close, you can't you can tell it's a cat's face and everything and what it is. But you can definitely tell much better in the the iPad. But I kind of like the fact that it's so blending with the background and it's like very spooky and ominous. <laughs> That's what I mean. It's great for the fool. Okay. Let me just pull this side up just a little bit where I didn't get before the top part. Just to check it and to make this the glue stick down. And there you have the top part. See, so just black. Okay. I caused that air bubble now and there back there. <laughs> But it won't, again, it won't hurt the canvas at all. So I just wanted to do that to make sure that was okay and it's fine. All right. So again, it's a 40 by, uh, excuse me, a 55 by 40. Um, let me check to see the sizing. Yeah, I could, I could see through the back. Yes, it's true to size. That's 55. By 40. Yep. So this is a true to size canvas. The image is a 55 by 40. Um, yeah, so again, this is Victoria's moon. Um, it was the it was the cost is $28.99. And um, I will, so I, of course, I will link both the shop and I will link this image down in my uh, description, as well as they gave me a code to give you all a 10% off code. And that will also be linked down below. Okay. Well, thank you so much for watching. Um, thank you to Victoria's Moon for sending me this uh, lovely kit. I hope to get to it soon. I don't know when I will, but um, hopefully sometime soon. Um, and thank you to the viewers. I appreciate you. And until um, next time, be safe and be happy. Okay, bye guys. Stay safe and stay happy too. <laughs> Thought I forgot. Nope, not quite. All right, bye guys. Love you.